Thank you for joining us. BKO is back. Oh, BKO, yes. <laughs> some of our viewers alluded to the... <laughs> Long I don't know, maybe a figment of their imagination that BKO has been relieved of his duty for doing some, <laughs> some political jobs <laughs> that BKO is no longer with TVC. And they were praising and were even predicting that somebody else will follow suit. Thank you. Person, what have you done to this people now? Huh? That person could be you. <laughs> what have you done to this people now? I wish I did not wish you well. <laughs> well, well uh, if you are <clears throat> made the habit of speaking the truth, people will hate you now. They won't like you. Mm. Especially the people who are so incorrigibly opposed to the truth. People who are big deadly opposed to the truth. Mm. They will not like you. But you see, sometimes I wonder whether the Nigerians have stopped appreciating the work we do here. Mm. But when I travel, mm. I see in bold relief mm. that Nigerians thoroughly appreciate what we do. Beyond what you see in Lagos. And yeah. that our the program is the most media. watched program in the country. Go to northern Nigeria, the far north, where we have the greater population. It is Journalist Anger. Journalist Anger is the only program that has nothing to do with soccer that people pay to watch in some view, uh, viewing centers. Mm. Niger State, even Ogun State, somewhere in Akute, some people pay to go and watch Journalist Anger. But the next year, say, ah, we still, nobody watches you again. You it has no competition on its belt. It has no competition. Mm. We can see the, morning, the morning, um, the breakfast the shows, TV. they mm. have competition. Mm. All the TV stations, they have something similar to what this one is doing, what that one is doing. Because now this anger is the only one that stands... So say that this belt is taking. <laughs> that stands like the Kilimanjaro mountain. Kilima, the Kilimanjaro mountain is the highest uh, solitary mountain in the world. All the big mountains of the world, they are mountain ranges. So Kilimanjaro is the only mountain that stands alone and that is the highest. That is what journalists and girls represents in our country. You see artisans in Yobe, they are watching. They want to know what's going on in their country. The diaspora Nigerians, <laughs> Because they know that you will say the truth. Mm. The truth that people, some people hate to hear. You hear it here. Without fear of favor. Whether it's APC Especially or your PDP. prediction of the 2023 election. Yes. That didn't go down well. I was at, uh, I was at uh, Tessa Mackende's wedding. You know these days I don't like, when they, I get invited to churches, I really don't like. In my own church, they are used to me. But when I go to churches in other places, people get distracted from listening to the preacher. And I don't like that. One of the pastors said, this is an oracle. He pointed at me that what he told us will happen during the election, it happened. In Tessa McKinney's at okay. his wedding. So when some people say those nasty things, sometimes you want to think, ah, is it that you are doing something wrong? But everywhere you go, whether at the airport or anywhere else, you see people who appreciate your work telling you to your face. I was at the airport in my, in my degree. I was just waiting. Security people came. They said, ah, the VP is here. Don't you want to see him? Come. I didn't ask them to lead me to where the VP was. Mm. So it's grace and the appreciation of what we do. Mm. No one can take that away from us. And we are going nowhere. Nobody is sacking anybody. Mm. How do you sack a person you are happy with his work? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you whining me? Are you whining me? <laughs> you can't be sacked. <laughs> <laughs>